I would say at this point, unnecessary, vicious pieces of legislation the government's ever come up with. The deadline has come and gone, been extended, and still Albertans are resisting the Firearms Act. There's absolutely nothing in, involved in B68, Bill 68 that's going to impact on crime control in any way. This is not crime control or it's not about gun control, it's about social engineering. Medicine Hat and Area MP Monty Solberg and the president of the Responsible Firearms Owners of Alberta got together with the people of Bassano to discuss Bill C-68, but the meeting seemed to be a little one-sided. I think the real issue is, is this the best possible way to prevent crime, A? Secondly, is it the best possible use of $500, billion, $500 million so far on its way to $2 billion? I would argue no, I don't think there's a shred of evidence to show that it is. And uh, I would say that the onus is on people on the other side to show how this legislation will do anything to reduce crime. It is a dangerous piece of legislation, especially for firearms owners. It's very powerful. It has the power to remove the, the legal right to own firearms uh, within 10 or 20 years if the government has the will to do it. It's clear from the discussions that residents of Bassano are hesitant about registering their firearms and getting a license. It's against our rights to bear arms and our rights to own property. It's unfortunately going to make a lot of firearms owners criminals that, with facts that they're not even aware of. I'm against anything that takes a personal right away from anyone. What happens when I want to give my, uh, my guns to my Litty grandson? Because they come from my great-grandfather had these guns. But not everyone in the audience is opposed to the new legislation. It'll uh, help us be able to, if we're going to a house where there's a situation that uh, we have to know if there's guns or, or other weapons involved, we would be able to uh, query on our computer system to find out if there was a gun. There still isn't a definite dollar figure on how much the bill is going to cost taxpayers and some are thinking the money could be better spent elsewhere. The government has allocated $30 million for cancer research over the next five years. Uh, when we compare the relative risk of dying uh, from firearms misuse and the relative risk of dying from cancer, uh, we can see where money could be better spent. I think uh, people in the West in particular, but across the country who are firearms owners, would be eternally grateful if we would uh, give up this ridiculous pursuit instead, um, put in place some common sense measures that would truly punish people who use firearms in the commission of an offence. Now the big question, are you going to register your gun? What guns? Stephanie Barsby, Newswatch.